CompTIA ITF Plus, FC0-U61, Practice Exam. Questions 171 through 175. This video is part of our practice exam video series, and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 171. Where should a user check to confirm that port 3389 is open for remote desktop access on a workstation? The answer is D. Host-based firewall. The host-based firewall controls the inbound and outbound network traffic, based on an applied rule set, and protects the computer from malicious traffic. For remote desktop services, port 3389 needs to be open, and this is managed through the firewall settings. By checking the host-based firewall, users can confirm whether the specific port required for remote desktop access is open or if any rules are blocking it. Question 172. Which of the following is an example of an interpreted language? The answer is C. Python. Python is classified as an interpreted language because it executes its code, line by line, in real time, through an interpreter. Unlike compiled languages, where the entire code is converted into machine code before execution. Question 173. Which type of storage medium is most susceptible to damage from a strong magnetic field? The answer is D. HDD. Hard disk drives are the most vulnerable to magnetic damage because they use magnetic storage mechanisms. Inside an HDD, data is written and read through a magnetic head and the storage platters themselves are coated with a magnetic film. A strong external magnetic field can disrupt the magnetic forces within the drive, potentially corrupting data and damaging the drive's ability to read and write. Question 174. Which of the following would a programmer modify using DML? The answer is C. Data. A programmer would use data manipulation language, or DML, to modify a data within a database. DML is a subset of SQL commands that are used specifically for managing data within database objects. It includes commands such as insert to add data, update to modify existing data, delete to remove data, and select to retrieve data from a database. Question 175. In an effort to efficiently diagnose a network disruption, one team member examines the main network hardware while another analyzes individual devices on the network. What troubleshooting strategy does this approach illustrate? The answer is B. Divide and conquer. The divide and conquer method is exemplified in this scenario because the troubleshooting effort is being split between different segments of the network. By having one person focus on the central network infrastructure and another on the end-user devices, the team can more quickly and efficiently identify the source of the problem. This strategy allows for simultaneous investigation of multiple potential failure points, speeding up the troubleshooting process. Now, did you stumble on any of these questions? If you did, no worries, it happens. Just remember, our free CompTIA ITF Plus training course is your secret weapon to mastering these topics. Access it through our YouTube channel, anytime you feel the desire to learn more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.